Finally, we get to pitfall number four, which is not knowing when to use marginal costs and benefits. Imagine now that you're at a restaurant, and so each plate of food they bring you costs you $7, and this is your benefit. We've just got this as uh, the amount that you enjoy the food is such that you would be willing to pay $10 to get one plate of food, you'd be willing to pay $18 to eat two, 24 to eat three, and so on. It's very tempting to say, okay, well, for four plates, we've got a margin, we've got a total benefit of 28 and a total cost also of 28. These two are equivalent. We've got a surplus of zero, and if the surplus is greater than or equal to zero, then I will make the decision. So I'll order four plates of food because it's worth it. It's worth $28. I'll pay $28. This is the wrong way of thinking about it. Instead, you want to say, okay, well, starting off with zero. Do I want to get one plate of food? So you want to look at the marginal benefit and marginal cost of getting one plate of food. So the marginal benefit or cost is the benefit or cost from going from one less to the current amount. Going from zero to one, I have to pay seven, so that's my marginal cost, and I get a benefit of 10 out of it. If I then want to go from having one plate of food to having a second one, I have to pay